generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect where it looks really nice. When the sun is setting and it's got that nice orange glow and we've got some also lovely snow coming down, it's very, very nice looking indeed. It's also really cold, minus three, and well, for some reason, people are starving, which I will check that out in a moment. In the previous episode, we continued building. We got the cell box done. We got the majority of, I guess, the bare bones of the place done. So we have a wall around the outside. We have a power block. We have reception. We have our sort of central security slash staff compound and also we did a lot of heating as well so we got the most of the uh, places in here all nice and warm which is good in this episode what we need to do is continue on with that theme and get the backbone of the prison done so we need visitation rights we can get that grant done uh, security procedure certification probably and maybe even go for prison acclimatization and engagement but that might be Mm, a little bit more difficult and also depends on where we're going to have some of these things I'm going to probably put this uh, I'm probably going to put the laundry in and around here we'll have probably two laundries one there and one there so I'll probably just go uh, five by five by whatever so is that five by whatever it is five by ten and that should be okay for that and then these are going to be the um, the common rooms so yeah we'll see how we get on with that one and we should probably do something before we run out of money because we're getting minus 500 50 a day. Now, as I said earlier, if we look at our staff needs, we have a critical set of staff needs on the food there, and that is a problem because I don't know why they're not being fed. I know why they're not being fed. There is currently no... Nope, there is currently no serving trays, which is a problem that can happen in the game, which is why I don't normally put staff needs on that bug's back. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is go over to our... Um, rooms and then to canteen and I'm going to designate all of this as a canteen up in there as well and then I will put in a couple of the a couple of the serving tables I'm just going to double check the size of this so if we go from there that will be 35 so that's more than enough serving tables in fact far too many because it would be uh, five well you'd have well like seven <laughs> uh Probably too many, isn't it? Yeah, so one, two, oh, one, two, and do I want to split them up? Is there a reason to split them up? Well, I was thinking about perhaps putting some like, like a in the laundry, not laundry, um, like a, a bin in there or something, because that amount of seven tables is strictly just, just, just not necessary. Four serving tables is more than sufficient, I believe. I'll put those in for now, just because I want them to go ahead and buy in some food trays like they have done now. And with the food trays bought in, they should then be able to uh, feed the staff, because, well, it's this that's uh, currently the problem. This is designated as a staff canteen, so that's fine. Serving uh, trays have been dumped in the centre there, and I'm guessing that there's going to be a cook come along to fix that problem, although uh, there we go. And now that that's done, and you can see, yes, there's a lot of people run to the centre and then start eating. So, um, yeah, that is now being fulfilled, which is good. I'm just hoping that that doesn't get stuck again. But anyway, we shall see. So, let's go over to foundations. Actually, no, not foundations. We're going to go over to walls and doors. We're going to go to the white wall and uh, put that in there because it's something I have forgotten. Um, we have this building here to do, so I'm going to go across here, down there, and down the back. Now, there's some... I mean, if I wanted to, this area here could be indoors, but I'm probably going to leave it outdoors for now. Or do I? Is there any point in having that outdoors? I honestly can't think of a reason to have it outdoors, so we're not going to do that. Over two walls and doors, going to put a standard door in there. It goes in like so, and then we'll go to foundation, building brick, and then we'll do the inside, and we'll do the back of that later on. Does it requires entrance? Well... Yeah, I think you'll find there is an entrance. If I just do that, that should hopefully um, solve the problem. And is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? There we go. And it's now in. So this is going to be our visitation. So we will put that in. Um, obviously, there's some rooms that we just don't have. We don't have any... Um, some rooms we just don't have plans. So things like parole or anything like that is currently not in the design. There's also, well, questions on exactly where things like the laundry could go. Obviously, we know the laundry's going on the left there, but we didn't originally plan it, so... Yeah, um, over here, you can see this is currently not registering as a proper canteen. That's because we haven't got the tables and benches in, but I'm going to put those in now, like so, and then that's going to be legitimate. 
over here we do need to have at least three visitor tables so we'll rotate that round to uh, that and I'm not going to put any more in than we really need that can go in there and where's the best place for a visitor door probably there to be uh, honestly just through that way yeah we could do that I know we could have also put one here um, there was some discussion about maybe moving this moving this table over to there and then having the entrance there um, the problem with that is you can't then get access to these two and the whole point was to have it so you can come through here you go through the visit doors through here and then then they can go to these rooms so you've got your you know your chapel and uh, classroom and things like that that's why we had that originally and then you can also go around the back here as well so that's why we've done it the way we have right so that is now in let us go over to once again our walls and doors a two grand remaining with ooh, minus 1350 that's not enough to build the building okay I'll just do my best then so we're gonna go over to there and then to there over to there and we don't have enough money to build anything. So I'm going to have to take out a loan. And I'm going to increase our loan to the maximum that we can currently get. Which is 250. And I'm hoping that we can get that done. Um, actually, you know what I might do first? I might do visitation rights. Because that should be an easier one to do. So I'm going to go say phone. And it does say um, to place... How many phones did it say? Place uh, five phones. Do I want to place them down here or up the top? I think up the top. One, two, three, four, five. So that's that done. It also says place a pool table, common room. And... Uh, what else? Pool table, common room. Common room is now going to be in the centre temporarily. Pool table and two TVs. That shouldn't be very difficult at all. In fact, we've already got some... No, we don't already have uh, TVs in there. But in here we'll have a TV, two TVs, and then a pool table. And then that is a grant done. Which means we can now go for... Probably cell block B, which should give us enough money, hopefully, to finish this off. We will obviously cancel the building of that, and then we'll get rid of that room. That was just to get the grant done and then back over here standard door will go in there standard door will go in actually yeah door there door there wall wall okay then we'll place the foundation over the top and is that right is that the right wall yeah it's just because it's in the shadow of the other building and then we say there requires entrance uh, entrance is already in and then we will naturally put a white wall right ac across this when we can uh, today's beverage is coffee black no sugar so that is now done we'll go across and place in a couple of rooms so we want the common room common room like so we also want a laundry which we have unlocked thank you uh, <laughs> I was just thinking did I place the laundry? I was sort of second guessing myself there. Uh, laundry machine one, two for now. It, this is not like a, a laundry machine, laundry basket, ironing board slash ironing board small. I'm going to place the ironing board small in because I think they fit in just a bit better. And that should do us for now. And then we also need some laundry baskets, which should be done like so. And that is technically the laundry done. I will run in some power. So power will go into there. And in this room, once again, power can go into probably about there. We do need to have some pipage. So we'll run that into there. We will place some more laundry machines and things like that. In terms of power, power is fine. We're running on about a third of our maximum power. And obviously we have no... Uh, we've got a lot more spaces for the capacitors as well. So laundry is now in. I'm just going to go over to our... Uh, where would it be? Logistics. Prison labor. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we also need a cleaning cupboard. So I will go ahead and build a cleaning cupboard. Uh, actually, no. I won't build one. I'll just place it somewhere. So it would be rooms clean cupboard uh, that done go over to logistics prison labor done grand completion move all of these actually no we'll probably keep the jobs assigned to that and we'll get rid of the jobs for that and we will leave it there yes it's still you like when you go into the prison labor it's very easy to see where stuff is like that's obviously a building you can place uh, some people working at the same as this one but then you go over to the deployment and you say right is that staff only well that is now staff only and that is that staff only I mean it's it's really difficult to see yeah I still think that should be altered to make it easier to see staff only 
Stuff only for now. Definitely stuff only. Uh, that should be about right. Okay. So, uh, oh, what I also want to do is go to deployment and remove the deployment from that. We don't need that guard uh, standing on that guard pavilion. People have mentioned that it would be really nice to have connectors so you could connect between there and there. That would be, yeah, that would be really cool. So you could have, say, like a, a, top, a walkway going around that you can only access via these doors and such. That would be really, really good indeed. Um, looks like they've filled the cleaning cupboard with some uh, chemicals there, so I have now removed that one. It also means we get another grant, so we've got Prison Manufacturing Facility and Reform Through Education Initiative. We'll go through that. We'll probably never get it done, but at least we uh, plan on, uh, at least, well, plan on getting it for the grants, if nothing else. So there we go. That's now in. Uh, we need to get the security procedures certification, we need to have these two rooms done, and these done as well. So, what I'm going to do, um, priorities, priorities, priorities. We'll finish off the canteen, and we'll get some power in there first. So, power, electrical cable, we'll probably run it in there, we'll run it in... Actually, no, because we'll be running power, we won't be running power along there, because the metal detectors will be on that edge. So, I'm guessing just power right in the centre like so, that should hopefully power the rest up. I'm, I'm hopeful that that is all that's necessary. I will power up these like so, and obviously we'll have to run the electrical cable further down. The small, uh, well, small water pipe will be able to be run up to there, and that will connect that up. And that is now kitchen and canteen that's pretty much sorted there. On the outside, we do need this extra, we do need this sort of extra bit of, um, extra bit of wall. Now, that is... That is our new sort of wall, that one. That is the barred wall. And I'm very tempted to have this as a barred wall. And, I mean, this one we'll just place as a standard wall. Because remember, this is probably going to be knocked down eventually anyway. So how, how expensive is it? 70. Oh, okay. A barred wall is really expensive then. Um... Hmm. See, I'm not too sure whether or not we're going to keep this external wall. This external one here may be removed. So... I think for now, fence would be totally acceptable. Uh, white wall will go around the outside up to there, and then along here. Obviously, this is all something that we will be placing anywhere. I can go to there, and for now, to be honest, at this edge bit here, we'll say a... S mm, do we want a staff door? Large jail door there, large jail door there. Same on the other side, although I've got them further ahead on this one. But it doesn't really matter. I think I'll... No, no, I haven't. I haven't. I've got them at that door there. Just the way it opens. Um, and then a white wall along the there. Along back there. And then we need a wall in there, technically. Or a f uh, at least a door. Don't know what sort of door, though, because it's unlikely that the workers are going to use that route around the outside anyway. And I don't know if we're going to keep it. So... Um, don't know what was going on there. Uh, we'll probably place a, just a standard door for now. It'll probably change later on, but there you go. It's just so we can go over to our deployment and then staff only, and then change that to staff only. So we now have that all staff only around the outside. So we have the security wall in place. The reception entrance is not done, but we do need to have a metal detector at least placed in the center there. We also do need to have metal detectors here as well, but I'm not going to spend the money now because we are getting low on that. Let's go over to probably the uh, security procedures certification because I think we are very close to getting uh, some... I think we are close to getting some... Well, patro patrols through bureaucracy. Have I not got that? Apparently I have not. Yeah, um... I think we are close to getting prisoners. I don't, I don't think it's unreasonable to assume that we get some uh, sooner rather than later. So let's just finish off things like the visitor area. It's only going to cost um, 1,200 to finish that off, plus the little bit extra for the cable that we'll have to run in, which I'll just as a matter of course run in the centre there. That should probably do the job. That one is all um, lit up. That one's lit up. That one is now fine. So... We need to furnish the common room, so we do have some TVs, so I'm going to place those in. So we'll place a TV in, TV in there, TV in there, and then we'll have the chairs. Now obviously these are going to be sort of overbuilt at the moment, but what we can do is put, say, how do you want to put the pool tables? I guess, place them along here. 
like that. Uh, there's always going to be one on the edge. I really don't like it when they're right up against the wall. It uh, doesn't sit right. It really doesn't sit right with me. Um, no, it's it's just that dimension wrong in every dimension. If it was one longer in or shorter in either way, it would fit in better, but it doesn't. So, assign three guards to patrol routes. Shouldn't be too much of a difficult task in the deployment. And then in the patrols tab, we can go for a blue patrol. And we're going to set up a blue patrol around here. And there we go. That is now a blue patrol. We do not have scheduling. Oh, assign guards. We'll assign them there. We don't have any scheduling, as I mentioned, but it's not a big issue. In terms of the blue patrol, we'll also have one in there and one in here as well. So, every... Every one of these will have a blue patrol, although I'm not really bothered uh, whether or not we have the patrols in here. I don't think it's strictly necessary, really. It would be nice to have one around here as well. Uh, certainly, we want a patrol around there. Um, I know there's been some discussion regarding, regarding the towers and what we're going to put up there. Well, ideally, you want snipers. Um, if you put guards up there, I think they just give you vision. Um, an improved vision, I would, I would guesstimate, but perhaps wrongly. Um, and they, they, I, th I think will. Well, I don't know if they come down if something happens. I really don't know. It's all, it's all new. Uh, governmental security ratings, which is to assign dog handlers and armed guards. We will unlock dogs. I'll research armory and education and. That'll be about it for now. What I am going to do is go and decrease our bank loan because our our credit rating has gone up to 7.4. So 122,500 for our maximum bank loan. So that's uh, the advantage there. I am going to go over to rooms and storage. And I'm going to place a storage room just up here. It doesn't really matter um, where it is for the time being. It just needs to be placed. So you've got a lot of the stuff around here like the... Uh, the stacks of bleach, the random bits and bobs that are lying all over the place. We just need to get that in order to, uh, you know, <laughs> get it moved over. So there we are. Um, it's just because it's lying around and we really don't want that. So we got 25 grand, more than enough, I believe, to finish off and get some prisoners. So where do I want extra things placed? Well, we definitely want a metal detector. Metal detector will go in here, which I'll place it further back, place it there and there. I want to get metal detectors, I could put them in visitation, but quite frankly by the time they come out there, they, they eventually have to go through that, so there's no real point. That might be a weak uh, a weak. Uh, a weak thing there, but we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Um, right, the yard. We'll get the yard sorted as well. Oh, actually, no. Before I do anything else, let's go over to the toilets and place the toilets in here. Maybe too many, but uh, when you got to go, you got to go. That's going to go across, and it'll just connect at both ends. There we go. That should be now fine. And that's still a nightmare to look at. <laughs> Um, and actually, strangely, it doesn't have the shower head. Shower head. You may have noticed that it doesn't have, when we go into utilities, it doesn't have it with that symbol. Because it's got hot water. Huh. Interesting. Maybe not, but interesting. Um, right, electrical cable, electrical cable. Huh, that's a weird connection there. <laughs> that's all connected up. Power is ooh, ooh. Uh, um, capacitors. <laughs> we should be fine with the rest of what we got there. So we've got the pathing in place for the most part, at least the areas that they need to go. We have. Got this set up. We've got the canteen and kitchen for the most part done. We're going to lock open that jail door. That's just our little extra security piece. That's in. The heating is on. Yes, it is. Staff needs are being fulfilled because the trays are getting cleaned up and there's trays in here. Brilliant. So, so excuse me. <clears throat> 
uh, went a cough and then decided against it. Uh, I think probably the yard then finished that off. So in terms of the yard, we now have bleachers. So a big, um, yeah, big sort of stacked benches. A classic prison yard bleachers for groups of inmates to sit and contemplate their next move. Yeah. So how do you want to place the bleachers? Well, probably offset is not necessary. Um, or do you want to place the bleachers just at the t say at the top? Hmm. Not too sure. We can fit three sets of bleachers there, which is okay. Put them on either side like that, so they can stare across. Um, and weights benches, I think we'll place in. Probably four, four either side. That's not unreasonable. It's expensive, but it's not unreasonable. And there we go. There's the yard. Not too bad. Would like some lights in there at some point, but that'll be a future as problem. Um... Right, looking at it then, the only place really that doesn't have heating is that bit there in this area. So let's fix that. But in order to do that, we'll need to build this building because this is where that is situated. So we'll place that around there. We'll completely wall it off. Staff door will go... Yeah, question, where does the staff door go? Staff door goes there. And then the foundation building brick over the top, like so. And... Insufficient funds. Okay, not a problem. We'll increase our bank loan to some amount. And then building brick. Go like so. Like I say, this is uh, our kitchen. So it's just a mirror of this one down here. And it'll be in this corner. And then we'll be able to connect up the water and power. Just wait for them to finish that. Uh, there's the lighting. And then one, two, three, I believe. With a staff door. With the utilities. Water boiler. And then we need to connect up the power. Did we just run it straight down, did we? We did. To there. And then the temperature. Where does it come from? Right in the centre, does it? In that case. Straight down. And quite frankly, that'll do. <laughs> it doesn't need to be... We don't need to be precious about it, to be honest. It was just straight across and straight across like, ooh, God, like that. Um, probably a nightmare. And, but, you know, at least there's underfloor heating, so that's nice. Um, these ones don't require... These toilets don't require uh, hot water. We're not that fancy that we're flushing the toilet with uh, heated water. But they do have a little sink on the top. But it doesn't say that you need that, so we're not going to have it. Right, it is minus 3 degrees. We have minus 2,462 generic units of currency... Uh, going out per day, which basically means we need to get some prisoners and we need to get them now, but it won't be now because it'll be next episode when we get that sorted. So we have most of this stuff, all the basics things in. We've got visitation, we've got common room, kitchen canteen, all of the, well, I'll sit here, all of the current maximum uh, cell blocks, our big sort of compoundy thing in the middle, yards done, and that's about it with some laundry as well. So we're going to leave it there. Next episode, we will get some prisoners. What type of prisoners? Well, I think it's going to be a normal risk facility. High risk, I'm shying away from because of the last season. Low risk would be just a bit too boring and also quite frankly wouldn't give us enough money so we'll see how we get on next episode i'm hoping uh, to get some prisoners in and then get maybe another grant done um but then we need to think about very quickly expansion which we'll start to research and we're going to expand up one way probably the south and then get a lot more uh, capacity in so let's see what happens next episode hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings